Hello everyone and welcome back to Tuesday. Today guys, we're gonna be opening some more mail. I've kind of let it pile up for a little while, so there is a ton of mail to open. I'm gonna get through as much as I can today, but I'm not gonna guarantee I get through it all. So, you know, if you sent me some mail and it doesn't get read today, it'll eventually get read. Don't worry. A couple things before we get started, guys. First of all, as you can see, my eyebrows are holding up pretty well. A lot of people have been asking me, Matt, why the hell are your eyebrows blue? You just gotta go back and look through the videos if you don't already know. We did a charity stream. We raised 5,600 and something dollars for charity. It was wonderful. And then I dyed my eyebrows blue because you guys voted on the color. That's the story. Um, they, uh, they're they a lot bluer than they were because uh, the first time I did it, I didn't use enough bleach or I didn't leave the bleach on long enough. And I also didn't uh, didn't leave the dye on long enough. So this time, uh, like six days ago, I decided to re-bleach them and dye them again. I did a much better job. It's been holding up pretty well, and I'm really happy with the color. It uh, it does a really good job of matching my wizard hat, which is nice. Uh, also, guys, the second thing I wanted to say was I'm going home for a few days. I'm currently in the process of, pre pre of preparing videos to... Uh, to you know, schedule while I'm gone. I'm gonna be going home to visit my parents in Fogo. While I'm there, I'm planning on recording possibly uh, a Q&A with my parents. I've never done any videos with my parents before, but uh, my mom has always been telling me, do a video of me and put it on the internet and see how many hits it gets. Uh, you know, back in the day when people used to call YouTube views hits. So yeah, I may be recording a Q&A with my parents depending on if they're game for it and depending on if I feel like it. So if that happens, I'll probably tweet to you guys on Twitter and ask you for some questions. So, yep, that's all I wanted to say. Let's move on to the mail. Okay, I got this bag here full of mail. Um, I'm not sure if there's like other mail around as well. There is a couple boxes over there I'm gonna open as well. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff to open today. Uh, some of this stuff was actually given to me while I was at Sci-Fi on the Rock here in Newfoundland. I should stop holding this bag because it's crinkling a whole lot and I don't like background noise in videos. So yeah. I got some of this mail while I was at Sci-Fi on the Rock, so some of it was actually handed to me in person, and they were like, no, you gotta open it on a video, Matt. It's actually written on the thing, like, open this on a video. So here's the video, let's open it. Okay, this one right here is from Max and Matthew, and also apparently a girl named Brittany helped with the contents as well. Please read the other side before opening this. Let's give that a try. Hello, Matt Shay, we wanted to say you are awesome, and you make us smile and laugh with every video. Keep up the amazing work. You probably get a lot of comments about this, but I think you should really play Undertale. See, this is probably uh, written a long time ago before I even started Undertale. I don't know. I didn't finish the Undertale series because uh, people weren't really enjoying it that much, much, and it was mostly just people yelling at me for doing things wrong, and I didn't really want the negativity. I wanted to play something I enjoyed a little bit more. So that's what I did. Please open this in a video because we want everyone to see your reaction. We think you will like what's inside. The contents of this bag are a lot like you. Oh, so you're saying the contents are shit, huh? Okay, cool. Also heard you really like fish, so we got you a dot 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 open it now. I don't remember ever saying I liked fish. I'm not a huge fish person. I do like codfish, it's pretty good. I mean, I grew up on an island. That's kind of what most people did for a living back in the day, they fished, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing in here is uh, a little collage of thumbnails and my you know, logo and things like that. I gotta put my mouth down here so you guys can hear me without it getting all like muffled and stuff. Yep, that's thing number one. Then we've got a Shining Magikarp Pokemon card. A bunch of lollipops. That's always good, thank you. A candy cane. A smaller candy cane. And there are a whole bunch of my logo. I don't know why they did so many of these, but yep, it's just me again and again and again and again. Oh yeah. You know what guys, I just realized that the Magikarp was the fish they were referring to. Okay. Next up, we got this folder right here, guys, and inside the folder there is a drawing of me. Very nice, I like. And another drawing of me. Very nice, I like. And on the back, there is a drawing of Newfoundland. I was on YouTube watching Mess Yourself, I seen your channel. I clicked on the Am I Canadian Enough video. When I heard you were going to Sci-Fi on the Rock, I was super happy. From Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Up next, we have a letter from Elena in um, Minnesota, I think. MN, that's Minnesota, right? Whatever. First up, we have a drawing of me and a Kraken and a watermelon. Very nice, I like. Then we have three Jolly Ranchers, two Blue Rancher Jolly Ranchers and a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Very nice, I like. Sorry, this watermelon looks like a pickle, hee hee. Okay, so this is supposed to be a watermelon. It's a very good attempt, for sure. Even if it was just a pickle, I would be happy with it. Thank you. I'm pretty sure, guys, my white balance just changed on my camera. See, the camera only records 15 minutes at a time, so I had to stop it and start it again, and then this, the white balance decided to change. Thanks a lot, camera. 
I'd like it if you didn't do that. I'd like it even more if you didn't have to freaking record in such small segments. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You're a great camera, but you really screwed that up. Anyway, um, Elena says, Hi, Matt Shea. My name is Elena. Alana. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Alana. I live in MN, and I'm 10 years old. I know you're probably thinking I'm too young to watch your videos, but screw that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I just want to say I love your videos. You make me smile and laugh. I made some pictures of you, and I have some other surprises, too. Oh, and if you ever stop making videos, I will hunt you down and kill you. Oh, just kidding. I'm only 10. Okay, bye. Well, what happens if that's like eight years from now, and then you're 18, and you're an adult, and then you come and kill me then? That's not good either. Okay, this thing is like super crumply, but it did survive the mail, which is nice. Okay, message for Matt. Turn the envelope over. And then I did that, and then it says the wizard on the other side with a wizard hat. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. It's not very hard to open because it's already falling apart. Ooh, what is this? I think it's a bunch of candy, guys. I, uh, I, I don't eat much candy lately. I'm trying to cut back because, you know, all those calories, all those empty calories aren't good for you. But you're making it really hard. All right, there's a, there's a thing here. It says, uh... Me, I guess that's uh, the person who sent this, which I didn't even check. Uh, there's no return on it, so I can't even see what it, who it's from, but that's cool. Well, anyway, this person, we can call them me. Me sent me this. It's, uh, oh, oh, okay, and there's a picture. It says you, and it's uh, it's me eating a baby. Good. Hi, Matt, my name is Reese, boy version. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I immediately thought of a boy anyway, so you're good. And I live in a place called Preston in England, and I am ten and a half years old. Every day I make up, wake up. I don't know, make up too if you want. I get excited to watch your videos. I have been subscribed since 70,000 subs. And of all of the 40 YouTubers I'm subscribed to, you are my fave out of the 40. Thank you. <laughs> so since this guy is from England, that means that all the stuff in here is from England as well. We got um, Love Hearts Dip, a Mega Sour Gum Stick, that sounds awesome. Sour Vim Toads. What the hell is a Vim Toad? I mean, it, they look good, but I've never heard of that before. A Sherbet Fountain. I've heard of this before, but I've never had one, so I'm interested to try it. And also, a Mega Drumstick. What? What is this? I, I. Oh, hang on. It says on it. It is a raspberry and milk flavored chewy lolly. Mmm. Sounds good. Here's something else that was given me during Sci-Fi on the Rock. It is in a Ziploc bag, and it says open, 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 open on it. So I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Okay. So if you open it. Oh, there's a there's a note in here. Good. Okay. Hey, Matt Shea. My name's Cameron, and I'm 10 years old, and I've been subbed since 400k. Why is everybody 10 years old, and why are you guys watching my channel? Go play outside or something. Your <laughs> your videos make me laugh. Me and a few of my friends are big fans, so I drew this picture for you, and I have a question. Do you speak Newfoundland slang? Yes, bye. I do. Um, but I'm not going to right now because that's 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 all you're getting out of me right now. And were you born in Newfoundland? Yes, I was. I was born on Fogo Island. Hope you um, enjoyed the picture. Keep up the good videos. Your fan, Cameron. Up next is yet another letter that I got during Sci-Fi on the Rock. This one just says Matt Shea on it. So that's uh, that's good. That's me. I lost my letter opener, guys. I don't know where the hell it went. It was like a mini sword, and I was using it to open all the letters. But um, I haven't seen it in months. How sad. Okay, in here we have... Ooh, damn, I like this. Look at that. So there's, uh, there's me, Matt Shea. And we also have uh, some art of Ashley as well, wearing the uh, the little reindeer antlers. I like it. And then we have another envelope inside that one with my name on it as well. Okay, let's see what's inside. It's a note, too mad. Not sure yet if you will have hit a million subscribers by the time you read this, but congratulations on a million anyways. Yes, I did hit a million, thank you very much. It's an amazing milestone and you more than deserve it. My friend Maggie and I have been watching your videos for a few months, but we love your videos. I guess we immediately latched onto your the unrealistic idea of there being a popular YouTuber here in Newfoundland. Mm-hmm. You're awesome and you make me proud to be a Newfoundlander. Maggie and I were very happy to meet you at Sci-Fi. You know, you guys wrote that before you actually met me, so it could be a lie. You never know, you might have hated it. Sincerely, Kate. Okay, I'm really curious to figure out what the hell's in this one. It's, uh, pretty heavy. It's like, a, maybe a chocolate bar or something? Let's open it up and find out. Oh, snap, I was right. It's a chocolate bar. It's a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. These ones are freaking awesome. Am I? Uh, for a second, I thought this was upside down. What the hell is wrong with me? Hi, Matt. My name is Ethan, and I live in Hollister, California. Please show this in one of your next mail videos. Me and my whole entire family, uh, even my cousins, think you are the best YouTuber. That is really nice. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Matt J, for being a YouTuber for, I think, four or five years. It's been uh, three years that I've been doing Let's Plays, but I've been on YouTube just doing random stuff here and there. Nothing serious for like six years or so. 
Here is some candy from California, but I'm not sure you had this type of candy in Canada. Yes, we do, but as I said, these chocolate bars are awesome, so thank you. Okay, so there's still a bunch of letters I haven't read yet, guys, but I'm gonna have to leave them for another video. There is one more thing I'm gonna open, though, and it's this gigantic box right here. Okay, I don't know what's in here. It's just maybe uh, like a, a, a personal picture. I don't know what it's a picture of, but we're gonna find out, okay? This one came to my P.O. box, so it's, uh, it's from a fan. That's all I know. <laughs> so much tape. How did you know how much I love packing peanuts? Yeah! <laughs> Seriously though, packing peanuts are pretty great, guys. But uh, yeah, that's not, what's, that's not what's in here. That's not the main thing. You open this up, there's a bunch of packing peanuts inside a bunch of bubble wrap that uh, has, uh, I guess, a personal picture inside. We're getting closer, guys. The peanuts have now went everywhere. Just gonna throw all that away. Excuse me, coming through. Now I need to open this up. I don't even, like, how am I? What am I gonna? Shit. Okay. Don't damage the picture. Good. I got it open, guys. I think uh, it should be able to come out now. Here we go. Oh my god. It's a caricature. Oh my god. I love this. Look at this, guys. It's me. <laughs> I've always wanted to get one of these done. Like, you know how they had them on the street and stuff? I've never actually done it. So now I got my own. And look at that. Look at that exaggerated jaw. I love it. Mmm. Okay. Uh, it says, eyebrows on fleek in the corner. And then it says, Matt Shea, YouTuber 2016. And then it says, San Diego Zoo. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to read what's included in here to find out what the hell is going on. Oh, I just noticed that this is actually really squish in the, uh, in the thingamabob. Let me, let me see if I can fix that. I don't want to break anything. I'll do it later. I, I'm afraid. Warning. Must read card first before flipping important. Oh, God, I screwed everything up. Well, I just want to apologize to the person who sent me this. I totally ruined the surprise by not reading the card first. Um, here we go. So we got uh, some artwork here. Hashtag I cooked a baby. Hashtag Matt Shea is my bae. Hashtag Melon Man. Good stuff. Very nice. I like. Dear Matt Shea, my name is Bella and I'm soon to be 13. I found your channel by accident and I was laughing so hard I started crying a river. Cool, I guess. Yeah. You are the best and by far the most amazing YouTuber ever. And she underlined it six times, guys. No, five times. Still, that's a lot. That's a lot of times to underline the word amazing. And it's in capital letters, too, so it's pretty damn good. Uh, I live in Arizona, but I picked this up for you at the San Diego Zoo. You are the bomb.com. Thank you so much. This is awesome. I really like that. You actually went out of your way to get a caricature, caricature done. And it's not even like in the same place. San Diego's in, uh, in isn't that in California? And you live in Arizona, so you're like, I'm gonna go to the San Diego Zoo, and when I go there, I'm gonna get something for Matt Shea. That is so thoughtful, and I love it. Thank you. So the last thing I'm gonna show you today, guys, is this big old box here. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's from Treats Incorporated. Now, I got an email a while ago, and I'm pretty sure the email said something like, would you like to try snacks from the Netherlands? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. Netherlands is the other NL, okay? If you see NL written on anything, it's either Newfoundland or Netherlands. Probably the Netherlands, because nobody really cares about Newfoundland. But either way, I got a box full of Netherland food, snacks, things. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what the Netherlands has. I'm pretty sure weed is legal there. That's about all I know. Treats. Explore the world through food. Sounds all right to me. So here's a picture of Amsterdam. Looking good, Amsterdam. Greetings from Treats. This month's Treats showcases the distinct snacking tradition of the Netherlands. <laughs> The, I was gonna say the Neverland. That's not right. This month's treats showcases the distinct snacking tradition of the Netherlands. Whenever we curate a box from a new country, we pick the snacks from the, for the country is known for, and the Dutch are known for their salted licorice, biscuits, and chocolate. Mm, okay, cool. I could, I could, I could deal with that. In your box, you will find salted licorice, referred to us uh, by us as Dutch licorice, and also known by other names like salmiak. You may love it or hate it as it is known to be an acquired taste, but either way, you must try to experience the snack culture of the Netherlands. You will also find other classic Dutch snacks, such as traditional Dutch peppermints and four biscuits, produced by a company that's been baking for more than 150 years. That's a long time, which are perfect to enjoy with a cup of coffee, tea, or even milk. The Netherlands has one of the most interesting snacking traditions we've encountered so far, and we hope you enjoy the snacks we've selected for this box. So big shout out to Treats for sending me this. I'm excited. Let's see what's in here. I mean, I know some of the things that are in here, but there's more, I would imagine, as well. Okay, so in this box, we have these things right here. Will, Wilhelmina, Peppermunt, 
Peppermint, because I guess it's Dutch. Cool. We've got these coffee-flavored wafers right here. These are the Dutch licorice that I'm supposed to try. Salted licorice. I'm not even a big fan of licorice at all, but maybe if you add salt to it, it won't be so bad. It'll probably be worse, to be honest, but I'll try it, okay? I'm gonna try it after I look at everything else. These are chocolate pastilles. They're uh, dark mint crisp. That sounds pretty good, okay. Cocoa biscuits with cocoa-flavored cream filling. Now that sounds good. Then we've got classic chocolate sticks. These are mint. Oh, man, these are Stroop waffles or whatever. These are called Stroopy syrup wafers. Um, I watched the Quibble Cops, no, wait, hang on a second, syrup waffles. Wafers is a different language. I watched the Quibble Cops video where he uh, he gave some of these to like Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. They were doing like a ride along video thing and I wanted to try them ever since. And look at that, now I got some, all right. And lastly, there is a bunch of these little chocolates in here. I don't know what they are. Let me see what it says. Zwart Witt Kogels by Napoleon. I'm assuming that your W's are pronounced like V's, like Germans, if not, well, I'm sorry. Um, these are uh, black and white balls. Okay, I'm gonna have a black and white ball right now. Okay, I thought this was like a chocolate you could chew on, but it looks like it's not. What does it say? Hard candy balls is a sweet caramel shell that masks an inner filling of black and white licorice, providing a surprising burst and blend in flavor. I don't like licorice that much, but here we go. Can't chew it, it's not gonna work. Tastes kind of weird so far, guys. Not really like caramel, in my opinion. I'm gonna try and chew through it. Ah, got it. Oh, oh, what the? <coughs> Okay, this is the, I guess inside here there's some salted licorice. I was not expecting that. Huh. 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 I'll eat it. It's okay, I'm gonna get through it. That is, that is, um, let's say intense. I need a Stroopy after that, guys. I'm gonna eat a Stroopy. So, here's the Stroop waffle. Is there caramel inside of this, or like, is it like part of the batter? Mmm, it's inside. It's nice. It's a good taste. Better than the um, the salted licorice that was inside that caramel ball. And lastly, guys, we're gonna try the salted licorice. It smells like regular licorice, like regular black licorice. Cause I mean, the strawberry licorice that, uh, that you can buy is not actually licorice. It's just like some sort of candy, but yeah. So this is supposed to be salted. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I'm probably not gonna enjoy it. You may find the taste extreme if you're not used to it, but drop, it's a staple snack in the Netherlands. I don't even like find it that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. Okay, cool. I don't even like taste, are you sure this is a salty one? Did I get the right thing? Hmm. Whatever. In my opinion, it's not really any different than regular licorice. I'm not finding it any worse. What I did find worse than regular licorice was whatever the hell was inside those balls. So uh, if you're from the Netherlands, Feel free to give me your opinion on these things, like all of it. I can't say there's many candy that I don't really like, guys, but these are probably one of them. But if you're from the Netherlands, give me your opinion. I wanna know what kind of stuff you guys like. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, that's the mail. I'll do some more mail opening at another time and uh, you know, open the rest of the mail, because as I said, time constraints, I couldn't open it all today. But um, I do appreciate each and every person who has sent me mail. Thank you guys so much. So that's where I'm gonna end this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.